like this, no direct grading, only net grading, I would assume, because that would just confuse the tar out of us. This is weird. I'm not getting any ear turn. That's weird. Now, now try it to the other direction. The hard way. See, that's the, that's the one that it, that it helps you out. It's the hardest to teach them because you've got to... Remember, you don't want to shorten the uh, the inside rein on the inside the, the direction you're asking the nose to go. Is what shorter? So it's just the opposite, you know. I tried to stay even and just move my wrist. Okay, stop. Okay, put the reins together, flat together, and off on the one side. They're both in one hand. Not, not with the finger between them. No finger. Okay. No finger between them. This? Okay. And you can actually put them, put them out the front of your hand instead of coming in the bottom, make them come in the top. That's weird. Okay. Okay. What's the purpose of that? So that you don't, so that you don't, you don't tend to try to take, shorten the other, so it's a full neck range. Huh. Now, if I do that, what's the point? Well, that, that's okay. You can do that, but you have a tendency to want to twist it like this. Is that what I'm doing? Try it that way. Yeah. See, when, when you're cutting, you, 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 you put it this way. Down. No, okay. you put that, you, you put it coming out the front of your hand. You cut like this? Yes. Hmm. Why? Because you're not supposed to do it, you're not supposed to have a finger between them, number one. And it lets you, lets you put that hand down right, right here, rather than like this. And let you put so you're riding with yeah. your hand down. Yeah, you got to ride with your hand down. So when you go into, but you can do it either way. Whatever, whatever way feels most most natural, and then put a nice loop in it right there. Loop? You mean? Yeah. No, just 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 put a nice loop in it to where you can you can reach over and you can just ride. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that, that's good. See that that, that gives you. Something you can use the end of your romal if you need to. My reins even. I really can't feel them. No. So. Yeah, boy. You can put it farther across the neck when you when you need her to pick up her nose, see? With those reins crossed like that. The farther you put it across, the more it pulls on the direction you want her to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're very strange. Yeah. Makes it hard to go in a straight line. 
So now make a hard left turn. Hard left turn. See how she follows her nose that way? Yeah. Now make a hard right turn. Pretty soon she'll associate that rein laying against her neck with the turn. So this is good practice to get her better used to proper neck reining? Yeah, that's a good exercise to do. You don't want to ride her that way all the time. But. I'd like to get used to neck reining. It's a weird thing to give up that direct control and feel I'm used to having. Make as tight a turn as you can, tight a circle as you can. Now the other way. Sometimes you've got to come up a little bit off the base of the neck, up, up forward towards her, you know. You, you tended to want to pull her to pull her in here instead of more directly to the side. A little farther up the neck, maybe an inch or so, and, and just just you know, a little here? bit goes a long way. Not not four inches, just just another inch maybe. I'm just doing Forward. that. When, when she doesn't feel it down on the thick part of her neck, maybe maybe move it up an inch or so and, and try it. Okay. 